Good morning. Today is Friday, June 10th, 2022, and it is day number 153 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 154.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 155 pounds even. I have gained eight tenths of a pound after having a refeed yesterday. And what's interesting is that yesterday I had actually lost eight tenths of a pound. So easy come, easy go. But that's just the nature of doing rolling 72s. Whenever you have a refeed, there is generally a gain. And so um, anyways, that's not a problem though because the rolling 72s will take care of that gain within the next day or two. And right now I am in round 33 of rolling 72s and I am inching my way toward the 21st hour. So as a reminder, what I had for my refeed yesterday was two servings of almonds. And so that's about 46 almonds and I actually counted them out so I could be precise. And that was 386 calories. And I also had a bag of coconut chunks and that consisted of two servings of coconut chunks. And so that was 400 calories. And I had about 5.6 ounces of blackberries. And so that was 68 calories. In total, I had about 854 calories for my refeed yesterday. So um, I'm still, you know, going strong with my exercise. Um, as a matter of fact, I just came in um, from outside. I just walked about one mile. So that's around 2,500 steps. And so I thought I'd get, you know, an early start to my day with getting the steps in and um, I think if I have enough time after I make today's video I might do um, a few of the moves from Calinetics and the thing that I like about Calinetics is that you really don't need to do all of the exercises all in one like sitting. I think you can break it up and do a little bit here and a little bit there and so um, I think that's what I'm going to do today. Do a little bit here and then pick up um, where I left off when I get home. So um, in today's video, I want to talk about how something that may have worked for you in the past may not work for you um, right now. And so in yesterday's video, I mentioned to you that I, um, in 2016, went on a 21-day almond diet. And um, I lost 16 pounds in 21 days. So I went from 219 to 203 pounds. And that diet kept me satisfied um, and it also gave me like a huge sense of peace and like mental clarity and that's probably as a result of all the magnesium that is in almonds and I just felt really good. I was in a really good place with that diet. But the thing that I kind of have to keep in mind is that when I started the almond diet, I was just coming off... Um, you know, a junk food diet. And so of course I was going to feel better um, e um, eating nothing but almonds. So um, these days I am eating a much cleaner diet. I am doing a lot of fasting, as you know, and I am kind of focusing my diet on whole foods, my refeeds on whole foods, like meat, um, vegetables, and like low carb fruits and things like that. And so um, my diet's a little bit cleaner and I'm able to notice a little bit more things that might bother me that wouldn't have bothered me in the past when I was eating nothing but junk. And so in terms of the almonds, um, I basically kind of like notice that they're kind of like sitting in my stomach. They feel like really heavy, like a brick. And um, I'm not in pain, I'm not in any kind of discomfort. I just have like this heavy feeling in my stomach. Um, and in addition, I am also like really bloated, like so much so. So recently I have been able to wear like some form fitting tops because I've been, you know, feeling a little bit more confident um, in my belly area. And my belly area is my problem area for me. And basically that's where all of my weight is at this point um, in my fasting journey. And so, um, as of recent, I've been like wearing tank tops and just other form fitting clothes and, um, going out of the house like that and feeling okay. But today I am just so bloated that I have to wear, um, a flowy top today. And I know the almonds are a result of this. And so 
what worked for me in the past isn't really working for me now on my like cleaner diet and I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye permanently to the almonds. I think I have to put them in a category of something that I can have every now and again, but it's nothing that I can have like every refeed. Like I've been having coconut chunks basically for every refeed for a while now, but um, almonds are not something that I can do that with. And so I just definitely want to say that if you start a fasting journey, um, you know, pay close attention to what does and does not work for your body. Because for me, I have abused my body for like just so many decades. And I feel like the least I can do is, you know, start, you know, doing things for my body that it likes rather than, you know, what it doesn't like, like, like what I used to do. And so um, anyways, um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, a little bit disappointed that, you know, the almonds um, didn't really work out because I do love them. But like I said, I'm not ready to put them in the category of um, not being able to ever have them again. It's just something that I have to do on, you know, rare occasions. And I kind of like had an idea that I might have issues with almonds because I have issues with nuts in general. But, um, you know, anyways... So I just kind of like wanted to mention that today. Um, definitely pay close attention to the food you're eating so you can see, you know, what does and does not work for you because um, your body, you need your body um, for the rest of your life. And so you need to like treat it with kindness and compassion. And, um, you know, you need to feed it the foods that work well for it and um, kind of like eliminate the foods that really don't work well with your body. So that's today's video. I hope that you have an amazing start to your weekend and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.